Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Hair is starting to look the way I want it to look, man. My barber did a good job. He came to the house yesterday, cut me up. Special thanks to my man, E. I appreciate you, brother. All right. So, what's up, team? El Guapo here. Glad to see you guys again. So, you know what time it is. Time to get together, lock in, get some of this good truth cure, and get well. You know, no more of the treatment. A lot of money in the treatment, but the growth is in the cure. So, we're going to go ahead and get this cure. So, last time I talked to you guys, I was having breakfast with my lady, Labea, and, uh, we got into how do I even get started, right? Uh, the path to success and all that good stuff. And although I explained to you that success leaves clues, and another thing I'll tell you is that success principles translate. So if they work here, more than likely they're going to work here as well. It's all the same stuff. Uh, everything that everybody is doing is essentially the same with small adjustments or tweaks on it, okay? Success is what it is and what leads you to it is the same to be quite honest with you. But we started out with the analogy of the GPS or the Guapo positioning system, all right? Uh, and what happens when you open the GPS on your phone, navigation in your car, or what have you? First thing it does is it locates where you are, and that's what you've got to do as a person. As accurately as you can, locate where you are. If you're a guy, you know, you're not making a lot of money, you're out of shape and stuff like that, Dude, you need to have that conversation with yourself. You need to say, hey, me, I'm not doing so good right now. Where can I improve? You know what I'm saying? Same with the ladies. Ladies, if you're, I hate to say it, if you are sitting here and doing the things that you find attractive and not what attract guys, and your ultimate goal is to have a relationship you need to, as Kevin Samuel says, stop digging. Stop it. Just stop. If you're overweight, you need to have that honest conversation with yourself. No excuses. If you're not very feminine, hey, that needs to be an honest conversation you need to have with yourself. If you're combative, if you curse, oh my God. Oh my God. If you curse, you can hang it up for any man of true value and true quality. It's not happening. We don't tolerate that, man. We don't. But these are the things that you need to have that honest conversation with yourself about. So that was part one. If you didn't have a chance to see it, go back. It was a three and a half minute video. Check it out. This one's going to be a little bit longer, but I'll keep it short as I can. Uh, number two, after you know where you are, the next thing the navigation or the GPS asks you is where do you want to go? Where do you ultimately want to end up? And this is so important. You know, we get this wrong as people in this country. You know, if you ask a kid, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? That is the wrong question. The question is, how do you want to live? And then find the path to get there, the most efficient path to get there. So if you are a lady, and you know that ultimately, maybe after school, maybe after, you know, seeing the world and stuff like that, you ultimately want to be married and have kids, you need to have that honest conversation with yourself and say, hey, this is what I'm ultimately going to want to going to want to have. You know, when I hit 45, 50 years old, I want to be married with adult children working on grandchildren then maybe your path is not to go and spend your 10 most valuable years. And don't get it twisted, ladies. Your value is very heavily tied to your youth. In fact, your youth is the most valuable thing you have. Sorry it's that way. I didn't make the rules. Talk to him. All right. Uh, then maybe you need to take a different path to get to that ultimate goal. Fellas, if you know that, hey, I want to have the baddest looking chick out here. Well, guess what? There are certain things that you have to do. You can't be just average every day, dude. Now, here's the cool thing. On both sides of this, there are ways that you can compensate uh, and overcome some of your shortcomings. Some of us have natural things that that uh, are difficult. I'll tell you what. Height is a big thing for men. You know, women love a man's height. I happen to be have hit the height lottery. I'm 6'2", okay? Uh, but I got a buddy. That is not 6'2". He is well under six feet. And he is, I'm not going to say his name, 
Uh, but when you see this, bro, you know who I'm talking about, is an absolute killer with the ladies. And how did he do it? Number one, he's highly educated. Number two, he's highly valuable. This dude's a vice president. Number three, he stays in the gym. And number four, he is a charismatic son of a gun, if I've ever met one, ever met one. And there's not a lady out here that he couldn't slay if he didn't want to. Just being honest with you, ladies, you know, uh, you may not have the most beautiful face, but pretty much everything else that you you uh, have that men look for, uh, you can you you have a choice in. Definitely your weight and your body shape. You got a choice in that. You know what I'm saying? Your femininity and cooperation are huge. Those are all things you can develop. But these are things that are going to enable you to get to that ultimate goal which is where you want to go in your GPS, all right? So very important to know where it is you ultimately want to end up. And then all you do is reverse engineer life. It's real simple. So number one, we're going to take an honest assessment of where we are. Number two, we're going to take an honest look and don't say what you think other people want to hear. Have this conversation with yourself. And decide how you truly want to live. Look, I'm going to give you, give me two, two more seconds, man. I work hard. I work very hard. But I don't like working. I would prefer not to work. I would like to work myself out of a job, if that makes sense. Okay. And hey, other men out here, you could say, oh, men are supposed to work till the day they die. Say what you want to say. You, you, look, you've got your life. I've got mine. I don't mind doing the work and I do do it, but ultimately I don't want to have to work for real. I personally don't believe that you uh, are supposed to spend the entirety of your life trading it for money. That's not what it's meant for, but uh, we'll go into that another time. So that may not be a popular viewpoint amongst men and women, but I don't care. That is my honest truth about what I want. So what am I doing now? I'm working myself out of a job. I decided exactly where I want to be and I reversed engineered it, engineered it, and, and that's how we're going to get to where we want to go. So this ran a little bit long. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Part three, which is the intangible one that uh, may not necessarily fit into the GPS analogy, but is probably the most crucial part to this whole how do I even get started thing. Uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be great. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Good seeing you again. El Guapo out. Catch up with you soon.